Good morning. All right, we're here. Ah, minus Linda. <laughs> You've got Sue and Ashley today at the Yarn Bar in Billings, Montana. Here we are. Linda's on vacation with her family um, at their at the Oregon coast, and I think they're having a great time. But last night, Mother Nature came in with a vengeance um, with a windstorm, and Linda. We were gonna do a split screen thing with Linda, but um, she doesn't have power and doesn't really have internet right now, so she's truly on vacation. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, I know. We'll, She's we'll having fun through without her. Yeah. <laughs> You'll just get me from behind the screen. Okay. Commenting on yarns. <clears throat> Did we have a nice uh, rainy day here in Billings yesterday? Labor Day was cold and rainy. Holy cow. And it was like fall just busted through the door. Oh my gosh. It was crazy. And we turned the fireplace on for a minute. And I lit fall candles. And I made gumbo. I was going to say you were planning your soup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did a soup also. What did you make? I made just a nice vegetable soup with some fresh veggies oh, and yum. tomatoes. And um, and then I also did, because I upgraded my bug pan at Ooh. our new kitchen shop in Billings, and I did a ginger molasses bunt cake, <gasps> and it is really good. Really good. I also made a bunt cake. Did you? With my mom's awesome. bunt pan that I stole from her years ago. Mm-hmm. I did an apple cider donut cake. Riley and I did. Yummy. It was pretty yummy. Mm -hmm. Was pretty that yummy. a new recipe? Yeah. Okay. Never tried it before. It was fun. Yeah. It's a great, I mean, yeah, it was a nice day. And I, I think if I had felt like, oh my gosh, summer's over and it's going to start snowing from now on, I would have not been happy yesterday, mm -hmm. but it's going to warm up and I think we'll get a nice rest of yeah. the week. So. Sweatshirts and just sitting around yesterday and knitting. Mm -hmm. It was so nice. Perfect. 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 So all today right. is Fall Yarns Part 2 because right. there's so many we couldn't cover them all last week. Yep. Uh, and we're going to start with a brand new one called Tiramisu. Tiramisu, which From is Barocco. so pretty. Beautiful. Fluffy. It's actually two strands. Um like a mohair blend and then um, a multicolored um, yarn. It's really light, it's beautiful. There are some patterns that we'll talk about in our email tomorrow um, that Barocco has put out. There's a really pretty sweater, but um, we have a sample in the works for a diagonal um, cowl that Karen's working on. We think it would be very pretty um, with a, as a honey cowl, you know, those kind of, it'd be a nice, nice accessory yarn, mm -hmm. but also a sweater too. And then we also have a photo of this um, Rochelle scarf that's diagonal with five skeins of tiramisu. Can you see it okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty. And um, the Elmira poncho that looks like this. And actually, this folded poncho from Church Mouse would be pretty in tiramisu, too. Oh, yeah. But you can see how it stripes. Um, on, yeah, so nice, easy knitting. And the yarn, these kinds of yarns are nice because they do all the work, really, without a lot of, you don't have to, you know, it just shows off a beautiful yarn. So Yeah, you have to fun. see it. It's really, those two strands <clears throat> are contrasting, but... I think they'd be mm -hmm. easy to knit together mm -hmm. as you're working. Yeah, it's a nice blend. It's wool, <laughs> acrylic, a little mohair, and some silk. So that gives you the sheen, and it's a beautiful yarn. You've got to kind of feel it to see how awesome it is. And that was, yeah, that everyone, and everyone's been noticing that <clears throat> and saying, oh my gosh, what can I do with that? So we think it's a good one. Okay. okay. Linda made a beanie, her perfectly easy beanie, mm -hmm. with Dream, which is so soft and squishy. It's by Loopy Mango, and mm -hmm. it's their worsted version of yep. Merino Number no. Five, mm -hmm. which we've had, but now we have a worsted version of it. And another it's look at super that color! Squishy. Oh my gosh! So the perfectly easy beanie, Linda's pattern. She modified it just a little bit. And did a, um, a quicker decrease, but that's a great pattern. 
Look how cute that and is. I love the way we did that little <clears throat> accent with that mm -hmm. hot pink. And we loved it so much that we made some kits. You can't really see. But in the kit is enough yarn to do just the cast on and then the pom-pom, um, which is the mohair so soft from Loopy Mango. So you could do this and a white one. Obviously the gray. A pink one would be oh fun. yeah <laughs> so um, we just did the kits to be the hot pink they call it spicy hot pink and it's pretty fun accent but also I mean I I have a vision of this hot pink in a like the the um, cuff of a sweater mm -hmm. um, at the collar the hem or color work I oh I yeah just, I really do like that it. pink is amazing mm -hmm. Yeah. So anyway, that's a fun, you know, some of these ideas for you now, we want to start thinking, I know not everyone wants to like dive into a sweater this time of year, because um, people may be starting to think about gift stuff. And so we want to give you ideas for quick projects too. And this is definitely one. Yeah, that yeah. would be a great gift. Yep. Any sure age. Would. Yeah. Yep. They Speaking of a quick gift. Uh, Coco. Oh, right. On. A brand new, super bulky. There's another one. I'll try this one. Coco is this. So they're variegated. And uh, we did the her beanie, right? Mm -hmm. With the Coco. So and then put one of our vegan pom poms on top, of course, because that's, that's the quickest way to do a pom pom. <laughs> it <laughs> is. To yeah. tie it. On a hat, and we've got a so million of those in stock right now. Look how cute! Yeah, this one. Where did I throw that one pom pom? The purple pom pom. Purple I picked pom -pom. it out I know. this where morning. Did I know? Anyway, I'll yes. find it. But um, yeah, we had gals in on Saturday saying, Oh my gosh, purple! Oh, here it's in my lap. Look. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. look how cute that would that be. Is super cute. Now, that's a hat you could make in one night. Definitely. And then I'm you sure tie the pom pom on and you're done. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's a good one. And that, again, that's another Barocco yarn. It's fun, new for the season, and we love it. It's really cute. Yeah. So, okay. not a new, brand new yarn in the world, but a new yarn to us at the yarn bar mm -hmm. that ev people are already discovering that we have is the vintage uh, a washable wool in worsted weight. Washable wool acrylic blend, worsted um, from Barocco. It's been around for a long time and it is new to the shop. We, um, yeah, and it's a good one. It's a classic. I think a lot of people probably have used it mm -hmm. and we have great um, assortment of colors. It's a good one. Another, yep. So if you're, it. yeah, a lot of people come in and say, I want to make something for a baby, but I need the mom to be able to wash it, mm -hmm. not hand wash and lay flat to dry. Mm -hmm. And this is the perfect yarn for that. Yep, it is. Yep. So ask us about that. It's, we, yep. We got tons of colors. Yeah, we love it. Okay. Um, a couple more books came in from um, Rowan, the Bloggers Edit is a nice collection of 12 um, patterns from uh, bloggers in the UK, designers who actually are blogging about um, the maker's life also. Um, there's a really fun um, brioche scarf and hat using big wool. Um, this is a beautiful sweater with um, brushed fleece. That really pretty detail Ooh, at the neck. And the sleeves. I know. It's really pretty. Um, there's a lot of nice patterns in here. And just a little bit of a bio on each of the four bloggers. So that's kind of fun. Um, anyway, I think, well, look at that. Mm. It's beautiful. So that um, came in. We had a little shipping snafu, um, but we got it guess, um, last week, late in the week. We were going to talk about it last week, but it wasn't even here. And the other one, Big Wool's new five new shades. So all those fun, bright quick, colors, quick accessories. 
um, fun hats. I actually started with one of the new um, Cerise is one of their new shades. So that's just a little cowl, but Big Wool was new last year and we still love it and they've added colors, so they must love it too. I started a sweater with it yesterday. Fun. For my youngest. Uh huh. She's, she wanted it yesterday. <laughs> uh, and I said, it will go quick uh -huh. <laughs> because it's Big Wool. Uh -huh. But give me a minute. Yep. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> oh, fun. Okay. Um, Linda was going to talk about a book from far away, but she's not here to do that. Um, so we're not going to do that. We'll do it next week. Um, Making Stories magazine came in. Um, where did I put? Oh, here it is. Okay. So this is a German um, biannual publication. And one of our customers, Shelly, asked us about it, um, kind of clued us into it last spring. So we, we found it. And we brought it in. We do really like this magazine. It's coming out of Berlin. Um, they don't have any ads in it. And um, it has beautiful photos, as most of these publications now do. But there's... Um, and then you get, the, you get the print, but then you can also go and download it digitally with the download code, as most of these magazines do. Um, but there's two patterns in this one that we thought we'd highlight for you guys. Um, this is a hat pattern called Toko, T-A-U-K-O. Um, the thing that is really lovely about it is that it's uh, reversible using fingering weight yarn. There's a little two-color brioche for the ribbing. Um, and then there is lace work and easy lace on one side. And then it reverses to the stockinette. So we think that... Um, you know, our land of Endele is a wonderful non-superwash hand-dyed fingering coming from Italy. And how pretty would that be Yeah. in this hat? Those contrasting colors would be so nice. Um, Cumbria fingering would be another really pretty one to pull. Um, I just think that's a nice, that gives you just a little taste of some new techniques or... Some people think, oh, lace, I don't know, but it, it's just, it's just different. I thought it was really, it caught, caught all of our eyes. I really thought that was nice. It's an easy lace. Mm -hmm. And the other one that, there's lots of good patterns in here, but the other one that jumped out at us is called Sarcactus, and it is a colorwork yoked sweater using DK weight, um, just nice, really um, it, I like it because the stranding isn't big, long floats. That I always kind of look at that. Very pretty. Size inclusive. Oh, yeah. Um, I see the cactus in the middle. Mm -hmm. That's really cute. Yeah. So DK, we thought that um, even combining um, a hand dyed would be kind of fun. Mm -hmm. um, or solid, you know, classic. That would be good. Um there's other great patterns in here. There's a couple nice shawls. There's another really pretty cable hat. So, and good essays too. It's always, they kind of make you, um, they're just nice to read. To give you a little, little distraction from actual knitting, um, planning, you know, planning your patterns. So that's good. Making stories. And I think this is issue number four. So we have the other three in the shop too. Um... Okay, so this next book, I oh. came in, I don't know if it was the day after you got it, but mm -hmm. I, I stopped me in my tracks. It is so beautiful. Just the book itself is mm -hmm. beautiful before you even open it up. Right. Um, what is that like a linen feel to the cover? Uh -huh. It's a it's, hardback and it's it's textured. Finland. It's um this is their second printing of it. It came out last winter, I think. And, um, one of our, again, one of our customers, I think it was actually Shelly again said, are you guys getting 52 weeks of socks? And we said, well, I don't know. Um, and anyway, then she went ahead and got her copy and showed it to us. And we said, okay, we are going to get this book. Um, it is truly 52 week, 52 different sock patterns, I'm trying to find one that um, the photographs are stunning. It's from Lane Magazine, um, and so their photographs for that magazine were always beautiful. 
Um, they've carried it through into their books, and I think they're going to continue with more book publications um, going forward. But it's a it's a variety of designers. Um, you know, if you're thinking about a gift for someone special coming up. This That's what I was thinking. Be, yeah. This is the gift for your knitting friend who mm -hmm. likes to pick out her own yarn. But then you give her this and then mm -hmm. she's set for a long time of making socks. Yeah. I mean, it's a it's really nice It's so book. beautiful. And it has the um, satin bookmark. So anyway, it's well done. Um, we love it. And we have um, a good number of copies if you'd like to, you know, have us hold one for you. Yeah, you might want to call. Uh-huh. It yeah. might go quickly. Yep, yeah, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, this is another great gift idea for mm -hmm. your knitting friends. Uh, we've got tons of bags that have come in since we spoke to you last. Look at how cute those are. These are from Bagu. And we've had these before. They kind of come in and they fly out. Um, there's a pocket inside. You can kind of customize the way you want it to close up. Um, adjustable strap, the zippered pocket, um, sturdy canvas, fun prints and colors. We have a few more colors. So those kind of fly out. They're good. Um, Coco Knits has a new craft caddy that um, is holding some stuff for us right now. But the craft caddy is done with their washable craft paper. So you can actually wash this and crinkle it up. It gets better with that kind of um, behavior. Um, How do you wash it? In the washing machine. Really? Okay. <laughs> um, I They have the little portfolio um, Yes, I remember that. Mm -hmm. So I did that, and you kind of like crinkle it up and let it dry. <laughs> it's kind of fun. I want to get it just to put it in the washing machine. I know, machine. just to experiment. Yeah. So pockets on the outside, pockets on the inside. Um, the tote handles um, are separate. You don't have to use those, so it could be something that you stick on a shelf and keep all organized that way. Um, two color options, a nice little um, gift box. So there's sort of a brown, brownish gray, and then more of a gray. Yeah, the washing, you reshape and allow, squeeze and crumple it while damp to encourage your wrinkles and texture, and then reshape and allow to air dry. Fun. Uh -huh. That's the perfect type of bag slash basket that can just sit next to your chair mm -hmm. or your couch. And it looks cute while it's there, so you don't feel like you have to clean it up. Right. It just is beautiful sitting flat on the floor. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah, it's um, it's a, it's good. There's lots of pockets inside. They've done a good job. Everything that Coco Knits does, I feel like she puts a lot of thought into. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and anyway, they're good. So that, and then it's sort of a do-it-yourself gift, too, because you have to tie the handles on. They don't come with it. <laughs> Get a little craft in there. And then, um, also from Bagu, we got these um, little zip pouch things to organize projects. And I played with that on the weekend. So, we all have those works in progress. And I had started um, one in the summer using Kestrel. But I'm not going to work on it now. So, what I did was tuck it in there and then I just tied my logo or the quince label and then the little bit of yarn on the oh, outside. Oh smart. So you know what's inside without I even put looking. It on the shelf and there it is. Um when I get the urge to get back into that like next April or something. Um so they come in little medium and big sizes and I put another project in this big size one. Oh, and look, it's my ranunculus. Oh yeah. Coming along. So I really like these nylon bags because they don't catch on yarn. I mean, um, we all have lots of bags, but the nylon, it seems like it doesn't, um, 
doesn't catch as much as. So it's kind of nice. You can grab this, tuck it in your cool bag, your bag, stick your purse in there, and off you go. So that's fun. And also, again, I really do like that organizing concept. I like that too. Mm -hmm. So we have a few different prints, and um, they change their prints up pretty regularly. Mm -hmm. So. Anyway. If you see one you like, mm -hmm. grab it. Yeah, that's fun. That's a fun thing. And those came in last week. And what else were we going to talk about? Yarn Store Week. Yeah, Saturday. Coming up. So, Yarn Store Day. We got two in before COVID hit. And they always were happening late April. And so, obviously, this year's thing was on the schedule. Yarn Store Day did not happen because of pandemic. But... They rescheduled, and it's going to be um, officially on the 12th this Saturday. But we will um, kind of do an extended version of it. We're going to do Saturday to Saturday, the 12th through the 19th. Um, we have a blog about it. We linked it last week in the email. We'll do it again this week just for what's going on. Um, we're going to have some sales, some special yarn. Um, trunk shows. A couple trunk shows an Outlander trunk show from Forbidden, and then um, our own two sisters here in Billings is bringing um, a nice variety of her self-stripers, and she has some DK weight. So that's going to be here. And we're going to just have it all week long so that um, people don't have to be worried about coming in with big crowds and stuff. And um, hopefully it'll be nice, too, and we'll do some sidewalk sales outside. And I don't know what else. We'll just extend the fun. That's right. That's right. I can't wait to see the Outlander colors. I know. Do you watch Outlander? You know, I started to. Mm -hmm. I might go back to it at some point. But I mean, a, a lot. I mean, my husband and I both watch it. Mm -hmm. He, I kind of made him, and then he really got into it. <laughs> it's a fun concept. It's a you know. And wasn't it? A, I mean, it's a book, right? It's a, books, lot of books. a lot of books. It's, it's a lot I of reading. Okay. Not as much TV watching if you want the Cliff Notes version. But I bet the book readers are screaming at us right now saying, it's not as good as the book. But it's still good. Okay. You good. know, yeah. time travel and history, you can't go wrong. I know. Yeah, both good things. So that's kind of our update. Linda will be back next week. And and maybe she'll get to watch the video if I her, know. Internet get their internet up. comes back yeah, I know. on vacation. I know. Fun times. Okay. Bye, Linda. Bye. See you, everybody. Thanks for watching. Have a